Hi, my name is Bill Bradley. I'm an extreme endurance athlete. The topic of the day's video is you're never too old to go after your passion. So my swim coach, Mark, like for as long as I can remember, and he's a, he is a great swimmer. I mean, like really good. He got like second, I think second and third in the nation in his age group in the 50 and the 100 swimming like a few years back. He's awesome. And uh, anyway, but he's always, he always watches YouTube and he watches the Eco Challenge. And these were the big adventure races from, I don't know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. And he loves these. I mean, he absolutely loves it. He tells me about them all the time. You know, oh yeah, I forgot about how that one what great one was in Brazil, or I don't know, some country, and and all. You know, and he tells me all this detail because we, we usually eat breakfast after we swim in the morning, and so he, I, you know, he'll talk a lot about these. You know how he's, you know, catching up on past adventure races, get himself all fired up. Anyway. After tw 20 years ago, he was doing some adventure races because he loved it. And that's when they were in their heyday, you know, right around that time when uh, when the Eco Challenge was going. Those were big, like, five days, I don't know how long, seven-day events. Huge, uh, old, you know, there's like, and so if you don't know what adventure racing is, it's like running and kayaking and hiking and rock climbing. And, and you got to do a lot of the compass stuff. It's got a fancy name. It's got such a fancy name that I'm not, that I don't know how to do it. But you know, you got to really find your way around to these different to accomplish these, you know, finish these races, these adventure races. And Eco Challenge was the really long ones. Well, anyway, what happened was what kind of happens in life. He was doing them. He was all into it. He had a team because they're usually almost always is a team sport. And then people, you know, life happens. You know, somebody. Somebody uh, moved away, and then somebody else, something happened. And then pretty soon, he's the only guy here. And then pretty soon, you know, out of sight, out of mind, and you're not doing it anymore. And then pretty soon, 20 years goes by. And then it was like, you know, he started thinking about it. He was like his 67th birthday was coming up, and he said... You know, I don't ever want to say I'm too old to do something... I don't ever want to say I'm too old. And uh, anyway, he signed up for one. I loved it. Like a 10-hour or 12-hour one, not like a, two, a week one or whatever, like those eco challenges. I don't even know if they have those as much anymore. But uh, he, so he signed up for like a 10-hour or 12-hour. And yeah, it's like, it's not super popular. Like, a, well, I don't know if it ever got super popular, but it doesn't have the hype like it did 20 years ago. Uh, because it's like a, you need a lot of equipment and a lot, probably a lot of training too. How are you going to know how to do all these different things, you know? And, uh, but he signed up and, uh, and he went out there and, you know, and he didn't finish. He made it, I think he made it five or six hours and he said, Bill, I just underestimated how much training it would take, you know? But he had this huge smile on his face, right, you know? And he had some things go wrong or, you know, there's a chance he could have finished. He got lost. Yeah, I mean, that was the biggest thing. He got lost for a little while, you know, because you're doing that compass stuff. He missed a checkpoint and he went back and had to go uphill. And he had, he had a lot of reasons, you know, uh, why he didn't finish. But he said on top of it, it was I was pretty worked you know, after five or six hours, I, I, I think I need to get more training in too. And, uh, but he had a big smile on his face and, and I asked him, I said, well, what are you up to next? He says, I'm going to do another one of these. <laughs> I'm going to train for another one of these. So he got, I, he got out there even after 20 years of not doing it and coming up on his 67th birthday and he was the oldest guy there, he said, for sure. He got out there and freaking got in the arena. And you know I love when people get in the arena. You know I love when they get in the arena. And he's trying to, like, figure out who he can find, you know, gather some more people to train with to do the next one of these things because they really are geared towards teams. And everybody was in this race. I think the race was up in near Lake Tahoe, somewhere up there. And, you know, but they were from all over the place you know nobody was from near where we live you know so 
He, you know, he's he's figuring it out. You can see his brain's turning, his brain's turning, his brain's turning, you know. And uh, even his wife was all into it. She said, hey, maybe if you get a short enough one, I'll do one with you. you know? So he's already, you might have a built-in teammate there. <laughs> but anyway, I love that, getting in the arena. And you're just, you know, and he's 20 years off, and he went back at it again, and he still loved it as much as he loved it back then. So you're never too old to go after your passion. Anyway... If you're interested in contacting me, you can email me at epicbillbradley at gmail.com. Thank you very much.